Good evening, September 6th, 2021. Mary Conley. Um, I've been studying this for 27 months, and I've told you about the ride that Deborah Hogue and I had at Jeb Stewart Junior High School when we pretended, I pretended to hitchhike, and you know the story. We ran across Ted, Ed, Theodore Bundy. Um, in 27 months, I'm watching all these videos. There's not that many that I haven't seen. I noticed the same thing. When I first saw this guy, and I felt reassured, Debbie said, get in, and I said, no, it's just pretend. No, it's just pretend. And she was going to get in, and so I ended up getting in the back seat. And I moved the books. It, there's books back here. He said, just move the books. Just move the books. But, okay, so watching from outside the car, he didn't have a shirt on. He had a mole somewhere. Uh, his lower face looked a lot like a young Rob Lowe. His lower face did. He had a clean-cut haircut. I moved that golf shirt. It was a pale yellow golf shirt with an emblem on it. And I moved it, and then I noticed there was a stink in the car like hobo. And then as we came around the corner, he pulled that revolver. I'm not going to go into the details where his eyes went black and were void, and, he, and Deborah quit talking. She quit talking altogether, and I just, I said, no. I'm going to keep talking, and I talked and I talked. But I would say I only encountered this man between 10 and 15 minutes total inside the car, where she was talking to him beside the car, which I couldn't hear very much, and then down West Gannett and off at the gas station at Harlow and Blanding, another few minutes where Debbie continued to, at that point, talk. When he pulled the revolver and pointed it towards the ceiling, that was a terrifying instance. His eyes were black and void. And my feeling was, as a 12-year-old, a very bright 12-year-old, was he needs to come back from wherever he's gone. But in these 27 months, I read the book Sybil when I was young. Of course, i got sinuses right now. But I read the book Sybil. And in, in those few minutes, you say, okay, Lieutenant J.G., young up-and-comer, uh, well, you know, you can picture him in an outfit. He, maybe he's at a naval air station. Uh, or he's an English lit major, and he's mature, and we're just the little kids, and he's all propriety, and he's GQ. But then also, Eddie Haskell. Also, he's just one of us. He's not that much older than us. It, it, his personality was just flowing, flowing, flowing. Eddie Haskell, just one of the nerdy kids, which is different than Eddie Haskell. Um, and then the terrifying person with the red face and the revolver, which he put down. Um, but initially, I would say it was like, I'm an English lit major, I'm GQ, I, you know, I've got the tan shorts, you know, I'm driving a Volkswagen, maybe I have leather loafers, I don't remember. But I watch these things, like one time he's walking with his attorneys, and it must have, was with that Texas attorney, the one that wore the cat, He's got a piece of stone, or maybe he's got a hard candy, and he's sucking on it. And he's trying to look. He walks a certain way, and he makes his face. It's so disgusting watching that little video. He's doing something with a piece of candy in his face. But, I mean, it's, it's like moment to moment to moment. You watch the interviews where he's sitting there, and he's never still. We would say a person's got ants in their pants. It was like... His personality would just flow, flow, flow. And I don't mean I'm so-and-so for five minutes. I mean every 20 or 30 seconds, he was, it was like he was constantly someone else. Um, in that short ride, I say he was like a kid like us and had knobbly knees, and he was just not that much older than us. He was GQ. He was a preppy college person or maybe a Lieutenant JG in the making. Um and then, you know, the terrifying thing, but I mean, just, then he's just your next door neighbor talking to Debbie, you know, it was very odd. And, um, you know, Sybil would turn into a person, she'd be that person for a while, but it was, if you watch his videos and try to get a, it's just like he's in a constant flux of, I mean, just, it, it flows, flows, flows. You don't know what his personality is or what his look is because it's just constantly changing you know, anyway, thank you.